Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that YouTube will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. Saints, has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so, it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad. Keep sharing on Facebook. Keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Thank you. Matthew 5. Help us, Spirit of the Living God. He's the Holy Ghost, Spirit of the Living God. You're the Holy Ghost, Scepter of the King of Kings. You're the Holy Ghost, Spirit of the Age. And voice of his presence. Thank you, Holy Spirit. All through scripture, we see that God's idea of the church or the believer has been to create an envoy that will communicate certain things that are in the mind of the spirit to the human race for every season hallelujah an envoy is is the highest governmental representative it's a governmental representative that is sent on behalf of a government on a mission an assignment hallelujah if we need to send certain people one of our brothers is getting married tomorrow and we're sending a few people they are envoys hallelujah whatever we stand to represent is what we want to see them promote there if we have a gift for the couple what happens we give them the gift and we trust them with that gift hallelujah with an assignment to go and deliver that gift hallelujah and there are certain people that God has anointed to be envoys of his presence. Carriers, distributors, to infect territories with the presence of God. The power, the culture of the kingdom. Hallelujah. And tonight we are going to explore that understanding. Say after me, I am an envoy. Say it, I am an envoy. A representative I'm an ambassador mean it from your heart say I am an envoy hallelujah Matthew 5 Jesus himself taught us this in chapter 5 from verse 13 he said ye are the salt of the earth but if the salt has lost its savour, with what shall it be salted he said it is thereafter good for nothing but to be cast out and to be trodden under foot of men. Ready? 14. One to read. Ye are the light of the world. Stop. He said, I am sending you as an envoy into a system that is characterized by darkness. 
darkness in scripture talks of confusion talks of death talks of sin whatever does not have the karagma of god in it is darkness and the bible says ye are the light it didn't say you have the light it said you are the light hallelujah you are a city that is set not like a city you are a city you have been elevated upon a hill he said you cannot be hidden a christian a walking christian is not just one who has given his life to jesus christ it's not just one who prays in tongues it's not just one who is in ministry it's not just one who avoids sin great all of these things are great it's not even just ones who have rema no a christian is one who has taken the mandate of the kingdom as a personal responsibility he has come into the understanding that he's not just a son he's not just a servant he is an envoy he has come into a place of kingdom responsibility that not only have we received of god but we have been mandated to deliver something hallelujah and voice of his presence when jesus walked upon the earth the bible says we beheld his glory as of the one of the only begotten the bible says he was full of grace and truth and everywhere he went the bible says how god anointed jesus of nazareth with the holy ghost is that true and with power and he went about doing what he was an envoy of the goodness of god because god was with him he carried the divine presence of god and he demonstrated the reality of that divine presence he had a culture the bible says every time he taught men were astonished they said what wisdom is this what authority is this we have not seen this in this fashion hallelujah when jesus walked to you and you were sick there will be a dramatic demonstration of the revelation of the kingdom he went to bethesda and saw a man who had lain there 38 years the bible says he looked at him and he said uh, what did he even tell him what was the question again he said do you want that i'll make you whole and he said there is no man that would help me as soon as i want to move to the to the to the to the waters somebody else will jump into it and listen look at an envoy he said no problem in other words all this you're grumbling is not necessary i have come cheer up he said pick up your bed and go one minute a problem of 38 years dissolved in one minute that is the character of an envoy he steps into a place and begins to legislate on me. no grammar no long story the reality of the kingdom hallelujah charles and francis hunter of blessed memory great men and women of god one time they had so much of the presence of god upon them they entered a meeting and there were people on wheelchairs and they start they, they didn't even tell any story no prayer no nothing they brought an atmosphere and a culture and they demonstrated this flawlessly 100 people they lifted them out of the wheelchair 100 and voice of his presence hallelujah when naaman was afflicted the bible tells us in second kings chapter 5 that naaman was the captain of of, of 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 syria he was a great and mighty man the bible says but he was leprous and on account of his leprosy when they came and fought the nation of israel the bible says they took a little slave girl is that true and in the passage of time there was one strange envoy who was a seer who does not just go out anyhow the bible called him elisha hallelujah and the little girl told the captain he said oh that you would just follow me there is somebody i know who can help you and the man sluggishly said are you serious you don't know my situation hallelujah and cut the long story short they met the king and listen when the king was afraid nobody told elisha that the man elisha was watching like a television from his room 
and he said quickly tell the king why is your heart casted? Let him come and know that there is an envoy, that there is a prophet. This land is not barren. There are ambassadors who are alive and strong who will not let the powers of darkness lord it over people. God did not leave himself across this territory without a witness. He said, send him to come. And when he came, Elijah did not even go out. He sent Gehazi he said go and tell him it's a simple case go and watch seven times and go back free ah that's simple an envoy is speaking there is a backing behind him hallelujah One time there was scarcity and Jesus, listen, Jesus was trying to teach the disciples the mindset of being envoys. And when the people had not eaten, Jesus looked at the disciples. He said, go and give them food. Come on now, Jesus. Ah, the disciples said, no, this is not part of our ministry. Our ministry here is to help you. Don't disgrace us here. There is no food. These people are plenty. Jesus was teaching them something. He said, every time you see people think of dispensing, don't just think of receiving you are an envoy wherever you go go as light study the terrain of darkness and solve the problem don't join in the sympathy hallelujah are you getting blessed tonight that you are an envoy of his presence god has mandated you with an unction with an anointing your rema will not help the world until there is a demonstration of the practical reality of the fact that god lives in a man and the apostle calls it the mystery of godliness that god can dwell in a man such that you see an ordinary man but he's not just ordinary he's carrying a backing that this earth cannot speak the man tells you you are blessed and all the forces of nature align themselves and make that word come to pass that's an envoy hallelujah there are many of our homes listen to me that are under demonic yokes there are many of our family members that if no one arises to help them they will die you are that envoy God seeks envoys that he will send to different territories. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I've had the privilege of counseling people week after week. And oh, what joy fills my heart. The moment the people begin to come one by one, I am conscious of the fact that I am an envoy and you see them coming and crying oh man of god the devil has oppressed us and i tell them cheer up i don't tell them cheer up as stories i don't tell them cheer up as many men of god just comfort people without result they say don't worry uh, our lord and god no envoy there is nothing that shows that you are an envoy darkness comes and the person goes back with that darkness we must contend for levels where if men meet you just once they will know they met an ambassador don't get emotional about this message and not do anything about it hallelujah the family came to me for counseling one of their sons had given the family a very big problem and when they came i told them i said it's okay this is the devil here hallelujah in less than one minute the devil is casted out i prophesied blessings to the family it was not up to two days their father bought a new car an envoy this is not trial and error you have become a portal for heaven to find expression at every given time hallelujah praise the lord do you believe that there is a dimension of kingdom assignment that has been committed unto you to be a demonstrator of the presence, the reality, the culture, the life of the kingdom. I vowed to God and I cried years ago and I still cried. I said, Lord, I don't want to be those many preachers with rema that cannot be defended. As a student, before you graduate, there's something called defense. 
all the stories you have been talking, you are going to stand and say it before people that matter. Is that true? They are going to give you a topic that you think validates you for graduation. Oh, Jesus is this, the same yesterday, today, and forever. He can do this, he can do that. And they bring somebody oppressed and you're just looking and wondering. This is why we teach you these things. So that you'll be equipped. Oh, I've had testimonies of many of our people and I've been so blessed. The destruction they are doing to the kingdom of darkness in their spheres. Some of them just went home. They had been waiting. This strike, as bad as it is, has given an opportunity for some people to arrange Satan in their family once and for all. They went home as envoys. Hallelujah. The koinonia teachings that we send by the Spirit of God, they go as envoys of power. Envoys of the presence of God. That's why a lot of people have been touched that we may never see. While we are sleeping, the Bible says, Abel, though dead, yet speak it. For as long as the jurisdiction of our Christianity is just to receive, get blessed, find a life partner, be very happy, get breakthrough, we will never be relevant as far as the advancement of God's kingdom is concerned. Are you listening to me? Unfortunately, this is what the congregation of the Nigerian church is predominantly made of. People who come to God with numerous problems, God solves the problem and they don't want any kingdom responsibility again. All they want is to sit down and let a great man of God keep displaying the anointing, keep doing everything and the people keep sitting there. Are you going to church? Yes, I'm going to church. You go. No. See, listen, brothers and sisters. No matter how much we love people, not everybody in this city is going to be able to come here. Are you getting me? Is that true? no matter how we love people there are many people sometimes people send us messages and say i wish i wish that koinonia will come and have a program or will have a program somewhere and i tell them who gave you our number and they now say oh a brother somewhere i say go and tell that person to pray for you hallelujah take the step and fail honorably God will bless you. If you are ashamed and embarrassed because of your ego, forget about being a champion in the kingdom. Many of you, this is what is stopping us. Hallelujah. My own blood sister did not have a job for a long time. I knew that this thing was demonic. I just have not been home for a very long time. And when I was going home, I, I, I had the opportunity to meet her and I prayed with her. I told her, I said, she was trying to give me explanation. I said, don't worry. The explanations are not necessary. Believe me, I know what the problem is. And I prayed for her. And that was the end of it. Praise the Lord. She got a job in Benway State. When can you look at somebody, a barren woman, and say, Madam, you are trying to come for Koinonia. They are not around, but they have been teaching us this thing. And Madam, will you allow me to pray? She will look at you and say, please, I want Josh, please. I know what, I'm, I'm serious about this child. I'm not playing here. Don't come and play with my womb. No. You say, Madam, just allow me pray. And you stand and say, Lord, you are real. And I want you to demonstrate the reality of your kingdom. Some of you say, what if she doesn't give birth? Did you collect money? Did you collect money? You get into trouble if you collected money. Did you collect money? It's just say, Madam, let me pray for you. And some of you for the first time as you lay hands on the people suddenly you will see a demonstration of the kingdom and the person comes back and say i have not slept in one week that simple word you said be healed i have been sleeping like a baby and then you know that the kingdom has come in that environment this has nothing to do with emoji are you getting my point it should be your default life. Do you believe what I'm saying? Look at your loved ones. Brothers and sisters, please look at me. There are some of you in your families, there is nobody who is born again. Be honest with me, is that true? You are the first person God brought out. Who do you think will go and change them? Somebody else? 
there are many of you there are forces of witchcraft i went for a program and when they finished the program some people just ran to me while i was counseling and they told me that their mother just broke her leg immediately the mother broke the leg some of the neighbors they said oh yeah get chicken get chicken quick i said what is chicken having to do with this broken leg they said if you want this leg to heal get chicken quick i remember one time my mother hit um, i think she I, I don't know what happened she hit uh, is it a goat or something and people hey stop say she look for one error she must look for one error or something and put in the mouth of the of the the the, the bed or the goat or whatever say if you don't do it ha a time came they came to dig a well in our house they said sir we are finished we need chicken there's a way we do it for water to come out you are the envoy that will stop that nonsense in your territory a bishop in this country a bishop in this country baths his children with blood before giving them out for marriage and one of his daughters called me one time and said this thing happened to my elder sister i know what is happening in their house now the lady cannot give birth what is all these things and they want to do it bishop and the man told her you better come this thing has been like that that there are some people that are doing traditional christianity i hope you you they are they are born again but enter their room there's one ancient arrow that they gave them and one jazz that they put in the bowl and some candles eh? and some ropes they don't use them but they have kept them when the going gets tough the tough gets going they know how to go and pull it out many families have not totally divorced themselves from a lot of cultural things there are still all kinds of witchcraft festivals and cultural activities that happen in our homes people are happy they are comfortable all kinds of devilish sacrifices are given you are that envoy that god is raising listen until your your christianity begins to confront the gates of hell you are still joking if your christianity has not yet begun to pose a threat to the gate of hell then you are still playing there are some of us ladies here, nobody in your family gets married. Will you not be the first person to say, not only will I break that, I will break it first from my life and go back and release everyone that belongs to me from that captivity. Some of us is the cause of poverty. Right from wherever it has come, to, even if you get job in presidency, you won't be able to buy a bicycle. Why you will not explain because there are all kinds of yokes hallelujah and God is empowering you and sending you everywhere the Lord grants me the opportunity to go and minister every time it's time for the ministration I just begin to feel happy for that ministry and that territory because I am coming as an envoy I know that there is a government that backs me and they that with me are mighty and strong everywhere the bible says he went he was doing good have you been doing good please listen to me and take it seriously jesus said you are the light of the world a city that is set on a hill say i am an envoy say it i'm an ambassador i have a mandate to take the presence the culture and the life of heaven to every sphere of influence if you are not doing this then you are not advancing the kingdom now look at me I want to show you a very big key and then we'll pray there are some of you that may say sir but sincerely I have been taking steps it's just that it has not been working how many of you belong to that category tell the truth you have been taking steps don't raise your hand if you have not taken any step I took a step. I was bold. I made an audacious statement at home. I had to go back and cover my head with blanket. Don't be ashamed. How many of us are in that category? You've taken steps. At least you've said something. You prayed for somebody. Nothing happened. But at least you did something. Let me see your hands. 
Listen to what I'm about to show you because you will be very surprised. I want to activate something right now. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Listen. Please look up. It's one thing to know that you are an envoy of the kingdom. It's another thing to understand the keys that govern the release of God's presence and God's power. I have seen anointed men of God get frustrated when it comes to the point of demonstrating what they teach. When it comes to Bible studies, when it comes to sharing the word, talk is cheap. But when it comes to walking in the reality and bringing men into that experience, this is where a lot of people become powerless. Why is this so? Because if the kingdom of God is all about sharing and teaching, there are some of us right now, there is even no need to be pursuing again because honestly God has opened our eyes to deep things. But there is nothing as frustrating as talking without authority to work in present tense consistently and continually. You come and say, every power in this place, we are going to pray. There are demons keeping people down and you are going to be released. And then at the end of it, you say, all right, I, I hope that this message blessed you. I hope you were motivated and challenged. And the sister said, ah, what about the oppression? You have been making me rejoice. Hallelujah. Or the man of God sees somebody on wheelchair and just dodges as if he didn't see the person. He said, yes, what did you even say is your problem? He said, my own is headache. He said, come, power. Brother, we must contend. Listen, we have not all arrived there, but there should be a, a passion in our heart that we will not stop until we get there. Can I tell you something? One demonstration of the reality of the kingdom will solve 20 or millions of talk. There, there are too much talkatives in the body. Habalists don't talk too much. They demonstrate. Is that true? A priest can be in a city. He cannot even speak very well. Yet the ripple effect of his influence and his presence is being felt. You do anything without inviting him, you will fail woefully. And then the failure will make you to come and visit him. And you say, it's not done this way. With this little lesson, let it be known to you that I may be in this coven, but I'm more influential than your community leaders many of us are looking for pulpit for people to feel the effect Jesus did not have a pulpit Stephen did not have a pulpit they had presence everybody say presence you don't need a pulpit to let people see the power and the glory of God you don't need a ministry a title what you need is an undeniable presence that principalities and powers must submit to I don't know if the woman is in this place but just permit me to share a bit of the testimony a woman came to me for counseling and I was surprised I've heard about this but I've never seen it one on one hallelujah a woman who came for counseling who gave birth to a baby it was a still birth but the baby came out with the face of a monkey and the body of a human being welcome to planet earth where everything is possible why is it possible because there is god there is satan both are real and are walking you are the only one who is left you are not walking where that kind of evil can happen that a spirit can create an imprint of itself and it will materialize in this realm where are the envoys where are the envoys that are represented across families the bible says that in, in, Psalm, in Psalm 82, it was a summoning. God was summoning the mighty men. He said, the Lord stands in the congregation of the mighty. He had to call them and say, what is going on? He said, you have allowed the earth. You know not, neither do they understand. He says, so they grope in darkness. The earth is out of course. Where are the people who are supposed to bring order to the earth? He said, have I not said, ye are gods? And all of you are children of the Most High. He said, but you shall die like men and fall like one of these princes. 
Where are the envoys? Some of you are only benefiting, getting blessed. The devil comes in, you open the door, he enters our families, wreck the lives of people, and we are just watching. Can't you pray? Where is your prayer language? Where is the grace to lock yourself and say, There is an envoy in this house. There is an envoy. The devil is trying to put your family under some kinds of things. Give yourself three days prayer and fasting and tell yourself you are contending to release certain things. But we have a bunch of lazy Christians who all they want is their personal comfort. Three days? Ah, Josh, if it was six to twelve, I can manage. Everybody say, I'm an envoy. Say it one more time, I'm an envoy. Listen. How many members in your family do you want to see the devil finish them before you know God is speaking to you? I'm talking to someone here. How many people in your community are you not seeing the handwriting of Satan everywhere? What are you doing about it? There are families that don't tithe and they are dying and envoy. Have you ever gone to tell them, listen, the reason why this thing is not working is you are violating certain principles of the kingdom. If you tell them and they refuse, no problem. The Bible says, how shall they hear until someone be sent, until there is a preacher. Praise the Lord. I refuse to allow the devil have a field day in my family. Hallelujah. These horns that are judging the lives of people, judging destinies. That's why it gives me pleasure to pray for people. I can pray and minister to people with all my heart from morning till night. Because this is what we are anointed for. We are not just anointed to wear suits. We are anointed to do the works of the kingdom. And can I tell you something? This is the mandate of everybody here. To dislodge the gates of hell. I went home and my younger sister was telling me. She said, I've not slept for days. I said, I, I, what is all this one, my younger sister? And I prayed for her. I gave her communion to go and take. She said as soon as she took that communion, she slept in a way she has not slept in a long time. I said, this is a signature to principalities and powers. He is in Joss. Trace him with a spiritual GPS. He has come to Joss. That means the powers of darkness must bow. There are many of us that need to stand and say, wherever I go, the presence of God is there. And because the presence of God is there, there must be order in that place. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. He is able more than able to accomplish what concerns me today. He is able more than able To handle everything that comes my way He is able And look up i want to show you a very powerful key for years i prayed for people with certain sicknesses and infirmity and i found out that these people were not just healed there were others that were healed god was seeing breakthrough here and there but there's there seemed like there were certain situations that would not bow every time i was praying for the people i felt helpless myself you know there's a way you can pray for somebody you know that nothing really happened it's just that if you want to lie to yourself there's a way you lay hands and you are praying for somebody 
at the end of the prayer, even the person is looking at you, you know that nothing really happened. That was the situation. And many preachers can get comfortable and say, after all, I'm doing well. There are ministerial doors opening. But I went to the Lord. I said, Lord, what is wrong? I have seen preachers walk to a sick body in less than one minute. One minute. Hallelujah. I was in a crusade ground when I watched Reinhard Bonke with my own eyes. I was there for six hours. I helped to carry some of the people who were sick because I said I must get this anointing. He casually finished preaching and he took a cup of water and devils were just shaking, waiting for a command. And this guy jokingly, without sweating, blind eyes be open, deaf ears be open, cripples walk. I saw it. It's not that they told me. Somebody we wield. I saw this thing. They were lifting the person. Everybody was trying to touch the person to stand up. I joined with my hand. I said, whether I'm contributing to it or not. And this guy stood up and began to walk. Brothers and sisters, it's not that I've never seen cripples walk. But let me tell you, there is something about coming near a real miracle and verifying it for yourself. Hallelujah. I saw blind eyes open. I saw a lot of things happen. I said, Lord, something is not fair in this equation. And whatever it is, I will go and find out. How can a man casually lean on a pulpit and command eyes to open, command ears to open, and the devil is helpless at his command? And I'm here sweating over certain issues and they are just not working. That means the problem is not from God. The problem is certainly from our end here. And I went and I began to explore. God wants to answer somebody's question right now. I want to show you a powerful mystery. Never forget it. Thank you, Jesus. Matthew 16. Blessed be the name of the Lord. As you open it, just pray in tongues. Shembre do zalaka preta shelaka diana. Arise, shine, your light is come. Kebata labakata, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. This is what will happen to somebody this night. You will arise, your light is come. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. You will arise. Your light is come. Tonight God will show you a key. The glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Prophesy to yourself one more time. I will arise. My light is come. Sing it one more time. I will arise and shine. Arise. And the glory of the Lord. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon me. Matthew 16. Jesus showed us something powerful. A mighty key that will open you to a door of the demonstration of power and of the miraculous please don't trivialize what you are about to hear let the eyes of someone be open my god let the eyes of someone be open hallelujah listen now look up please verse 13 when Jesus came into the coast of Caesarea Philippi listen Jesus had been walking with his disciples let me have two or three disciples I am Jesus hallelujah now Jesus follow me Jesus went everywhere with these people is that true 
they watched him demonstrate miracles they saw a lot of things these guys were amazed they saw the sea the waves they saw the way situations were helpless at the presence of jesus and jesus said gentlemen i always hear you conversing he said who do men say that i am they see this mighty man doing miracles and i'm sure they have been talking some have said he's fake some have said this guy may be one belzebub somewhere he said who do they say i am and the disciples were happy verse 14. the bible says that they were so excited because it was a secret question they had been asking themselves and they said some say you are john the baptist why because john the baptist had been caught in the prison and they didn't see him some say you are john the baptist some say you are elijah because the bible says before the great and terrible day of the lord malachi 4 elijah the spirit of prophecy will come so you are that manifestation of elijah and others said jeremiah the weeping prophet who wrote a lot about the lamentations of of the spirit of god he said oh you are just one of the prophets and then he laughed now follow me he said all right i have heard what they say you have walked with me you have seen me do miracles you participated what do you say that i am okay they say i'm a prophet fine they are wrong but you you saw the miracle they said it was fake but you you were in koinonia you saw the demons you saw them being casted out it's not something that you watch on tv that you say it was he said in light of all that you have seen what is your conclusion about me he said what do you say that i am listen and simon peter answered and said thou art christ the son of the living god next verse and jesus said unto him hmm, blessed art thou simon Barjona, son of jonah he said for flesh and blood has that means this operation is not in the realm of flesh and blood if you ever want to walk in it flesh and blood cannot deliver this dimension of result he said this revelation you've had now it is not by flesh and blood are you getting me flesh and blood has not revealed it to you he said but my father which is in heaven listen peter you know why jesus asked them jesus needed to ask them to initiate a principle that he was going to teach the body of christ verse 18 he said and i say unto you thou art peter listen and upon this rock what rock the rock of the revelation you just caught what is the revelation the revelation is the fact that nothing just happens by flesh and blood until there is a spiritual understanding that backs the activity upon that revelation i will build the structure of my church that means for every time you will perform any activity there must be a revelation that you build upon otherwise the activity will just be normal are you getting this revelation in other words listen i can lay hands but the realm of the spirit will check what revelation do i know that activates the power over this activity if there is no revelation power will not flow it's a law in the spirit peter i see that you have gotten a spiritual understanding it is upon this understanding i will build my church to function that means whatever they have to do they will first build on a rock a revelation must be the platform for any activity to be carried out communion without revelation powerless anointing without revelation powerless so i can lay hands i tell you i feel the power of the holy ghost in a very mighty way he said i will build my church upon a revelation when you get this revelation you will step into a realm where you become an envoy 
listen 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 to me the bible says a time came when peter james and john who became the pillars of the church they went with jesus is that true to the mount of transfiguration and the bible says listen we were going to see the practical demonstration of that scripture the bible says they brought an epileptic patient everybody watch come sir they brought an epileptic patient now it was the turn of the disciples to heal is that true the bible says they kept doing everything that jesus did exactly but nothing happened is that in your bible they did exactly they saw jesus doing everything they did it the guy didn't get healed and when jesus came down with three of the disciples he saw his disciples struggling that was what grieved his heart he said until now because he knew it was a law it would have happened without him anyway and the bible says he looked at the boy he says since when did he have this condition and they said since he was a child it throws him into the fire throws him into whatever and he said i believe help thou my unbelief the father said and the bible says jesus rebuked a deaf and dumb spirit out of him and the bible says the guy was manifesting like you always see here and fell as though he was dead people thought he was dead and they picked him up and he got up he was sound the disciple said in one minute we did the same thing what did you do differently is it not the rebuking we also rebuilt we rebuilt it we were tired power did not flow i'm showing you the key why you have not been seeing the move of god it's not about cramming the words i use you will say the same thing and not see anything there is a secret hallelujah many people think it's about talking like the man of god or dressing like the man of god or reciting what the man of god is saying that will not bring power brothers and sisters when jesus did that and the demons obeyed him the disciples went and met jesus listen the disciples say ah, ah why couldn't we cast out see when you are studying your bible when you see jesus about to reveal something pay attention the disciples were asking why they could not do these things and jesus said because of your unbelief very simple like that because of your unbelief then he says however this kind goeth not but by fasting and prayer hold on so he told them the problem was unbelief and he told them to remedy unbelief part of the spiritual activities that will happen is fasting and prayer when you fast and pray something happens in your spirit that brings you to a position where you can now believe listen just follow me i want to establish something very very powerfully when jesus did that listen a time came when jesus now said all right guys i have tested you a while he said go in my name go not everywhere but to the lordship of israel go two by two listen now it was their turn the bible says they went they were all fidgeting and they now looked at somebody and said in jesus name suddenly they saw the demon obey they said ah this thing is working oh they tried it again they saw that it worked they didn't even know what was happening and the bible says they returned rejoicing and said finally even they said even the demons were subject to us in thy name jesus said uh -uh, you have not gotten the point don't just rejoice that demons are subject to you rejoice because your name is you know is written in heaven and so on and so forth and then a time came listen jesus said as my father has sent me he said so send i you hold on it's not just saying nature there was a way i walked in the earth there was something that made those miracles to happen he said now i speak that let there be access to you to walk in those dimensions so that you'll be able to see those miracles that means listen please for every time 
you carry out a spiritual activity and it works let me tell you what happens in the spirit there is a system in the realm of the spirit that cross checks whether you understand what you were doing or not if there is no revelation that backs that activity power will not flow are you getting my point the sons of Skiva, they call that man they say we adjure you the demon said not so i am seeing you in the spirit your house is built on sand where is the rock upon which this laying on of hands is built upon i do not see any revelation for that reason i will not go listen brothers and sisters do you know the power of this communion that we take people just take communion oh he's blessed and we take and nothing happens but the day you step into the revelation of what it can do the power of god will change that communion to the literal blood and body of jesus christ and it will answer in your body at once there are many christians trying to do spiritual motions without revelation and the bible told us about those people he said there were two people that built one built on a revelation a rock is that true another built on sand he was just building on religion the bible says now the wind came and tested it and the one who was built upon a rock revelation there was he was not just giving for nothing he was not just tithing for nothing there was an insight in the spirit that makes him to carry out that activity so i don't just pray in tongues because i'm seeing prayer band pray i'm praying on a rock there is a revelation i have come to know what prayer can do so every time i pray power flows through that revelation to edify my spirit and produce results this is why the prayer life of many christians is, is not working they humiliate themselves pray for hours and wonder why things don't happen what rock have you been laying hands on the sick upon what is the revelation that granted you access based on what did you prophesy to that brother and say in the name of Jesus doors open what was the rock that supported that prophecy hallelujah when David was about to defeat Goliath he knew that he cannot make empty noise and he said you come to me with your spares but I come to you in a name there is a name I know there is a covenant I have there is a revelation David and Goliath on account of my covenant with Jehovah I will take off your head and I know the power will flow and God said that is it you have gotten the equation now you bring out the sling how can an ordinary sling kill a man a revelation produce power envoys of power this is why you see all these things that are happening happening it will happen every time forever it's like a switch when you know how to turn it on you become an infant of fire so you enter anywhere you are an envoy you know how to compel powers to bow you know what to say to make them answer you you know what to say to make them leave you know what to say to dislodge the powers of darkness There is something you must know there are many preachers who preach they listen to a man of God's revelation they copied it and they are pasting it they preach a message that is supposed to bring healing but healing does not happen they preach a message that should bring breakthrough but breakthrough does not happen take your place take your place Take your place, 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 take your place.
call his name Holy Ghost 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 Take your place Your place. Hallelujah. Hear me. When I caught this revelation, I was excited. And the first time we had the opportunity to organize our crusade as a ministry, it was now the time to put this in practical proof. Hallelujah. And in that crusade ground, there were sick people. There were all kinds of oppressed people. And when we began to see the power and the glory of God, I said, this thing works. It's not a lie. The fault is not from God. There is a fountain. You can become a walking dispenser of the kingdom. A dispenser of power when men shake you something will happen in your life because you are full of the word for everything there is a revelation even when you shake people you know that you are a blessing so that revelation will force something to get into them this may be the missing link behind your praying for the sick you have laid hands but you are just copying light has not come upon you there is no unction that supports what you are doing take my body my soul my spirit breathe on me take my body my soul my spirit breathe on me take my body my soul my spirit Take my body, my soul, my spirit, breathe on me. of your soul. shall follow them not him them them a congregation a people who believe god enough to know that he's not playing when he says all power belongs to him he means it
we are going to pray i like you to pray and say lord do something in my spirit that will cause light to enter me i want to begin to see fruit come on now pray Koinonia, this is not how you pray. I want to see prayer warriors. I want to see men of prayer. I command you every yoke that has tied you down, every yoke that has tied your family down, every curse, every protection, let them pray, 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 there is power when you pray, there is fire when you pray. I command powers bow in the name of Jesus and Koinonia destinies are changed and Koinonia eyes are reflected and Koinonia generals are raised and voice of power and voice of grace men of dexterity men of authority men of audacity confronting case confronting territory hallelujah Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm going to pray for you. What many of us need is an unction from the Lord that will suddenly make the things you read become alive. It's a spirit. It's called the spirit of revelation. Lift your hands. I want to pray for you. I want you to receive it inside and outside with all your heart. It's time for you to begin to walk as an ambassador. 
Hallelujah. I'm going to count three. And at the count of three, I'd like you to shout the name Jesus. And as you shout, something will come upon your life. Are you ready? One, two, three. Take it. 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 Receive it. The spirit of revelation. Prokotokote. Outside. Take it. Outside. Let it come like fire. Eyes be open. Yes. Be open. Let the spirit of faith come upon you. Take it. Faith to believe. Faith to believe. Faith to believe. Command miracles. Let blind eyes be open. Let deaf ears be open through your hands. Whoever you bless is blessed. Whoever you bless is blessed. When you speak, your words are backed up by an authority that is not of this realm. Your voice will be like the voice of God. Your voice will be like the voice of God. Whatever you stop will stop. Whatever you stop will stop. Whatever you bind is bound. Whatever you lose is lose. Envoys of his presence. I pray for you from today. Let the manifest presence of God, let the angel of his presence begin to walk with you. That everywhere you go, you don't need to tell men you are anointed. There is an angel of his presence that will go with you. Sinners will break down when they see you. Devils will cry out without you casting them. I proclaim upon you from tonight you become an envoy of power, an envoy of his presence, an envoy of his glory. Under the apostolic unction, I command as touching the grace given to me, if I be sent of God, let this mantle fall on as many people. Envoys of power, envoys of power, envoys of miracles, envoys of wisdom, envoys of breakthrough. Go and command breakthrough. Go and release your family members. The cause that has kept them. Go as a savior. Go and command marriages. Go and heal the barren. Let the barren be healed. Go and raise the dead. Go and raise the dead. Go and cast out devils. Prophesy business breakthrough to people. Prophesy career breakthrough. Your words carry power. Your hands carry power. Here at Koinonia, I stand as an apostle of God and I proclaim my God the same power that backs me. Let it back your people. The same authority that backs me. Let it back your people. Calls you Lord. 
worthy is your name we worship your majesty awesome God hallelujah listen listen the journey of my life listen to me please has been a journey of progressive walk with the spirit of god hallelujah listen to me please exactly a month ago hear me I was sleeping and the spirit of God woke me he said it's time for you to step into a new face of the anointing and a new face I always see it I see a military man in the spirit and then a batch is added and the Lord says there are many more responsibilities and there is an anointing and I prayed I said Lord you cannot just be empowering me alone your people need to walk in this kingdom power and all through the lord had been brewing it in my heart and the lord kept telling me it is my desire let your people believe me enough moses said i desire that my spirit will even come upon everybody my greatest desire is not to be one invincible man of god no but that there will be people and you are these people to spread across hallelujah and from the time the spirit of the lord told me this i knew that he increased the anointing upon my spirit and he measured a thousand cubits you can know you can see a man that walks with god and say this is different something has changed a thousand cubits and this is why whenever I receive it, I make sure that everybody is a partaker of it. If you don't walk with it, it is not my fault. But in the days to come as we prepare for next year, you will see things that will surprise you. When you are faithful with the level of grace that God gives unto you, and you are diligent, you will know and everybody around you will know when something a thousand cubit has been measured again and there is a rise this is why I worship him brothers and sisters don't get emotional about this meeting alone and don't get arrogant over the anointing you have received listen authority in the spirit is for you to go and be a blessing not to go and build an empire do not emulate these wrong things men of god try to bring to the body of christ to make it look like there is one superstar let me tell you every one of us have been anointed and called whether in business whether in education these anointings are not just for healing the sick alone but opening people up to dimensions of the spirit and if you do not use this and you let it dormant, it will dry up in your life. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You are going to pray just one prayer point and we are going to round up. You are going to say, Lord, this anointing I have received, I want to see it working. I'm tired of receiving things and falling down and I cannot say this is what happened. Please pray. I beg you, my brothers and sisters, if you will pray this prayer from your heart. Say, Lord, bring a sick body to me. Bring an oppressed person to me, O oh God. Bring a sinner my way. Let me put this unction and this revelation to work. Bring a family my way. I'm ready to work as an envoy of power. Pray and say, Lord, the things I'm taught in Koinonia, 
I don't just want to be a listener. I want to be on fire. There are many of you who just love God casually. But today you are talking to the Lord and He's hearing you. You are saying, Lord, I'm joining the band of spiritual people on fire. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm going to give you an assignment. Everyone here this week, I want you to call every member of your family and tell them, tell me one thing. I have been taught in Koinonia that I'm an envoy of power. Call your family members and say, what are the issues? I want to speak. I'm not agreeing with you. I am coming as an envoy. This is not the issue of agree with me. I am coming with an authority that is not of this realm. Whether they believe you or not, you don't need to be hard on them. Listen, sister, even if you look weak, everybody knows you to be a bad girl. Something has happened to you. Are you getting me? Don't let the devil take your yesterday and say, even you, you want to prophesy. Yes, even you. The Bible says when the spirit of God came upon Saul, he became another man. It is this another mind dimension that we are releasing you to go and manifest. That the people that have seen you, you are in a shop and people just see you sit down. Customers are not coming. And you say, mommy, watch what will happen. Father, just as I have been taught in the name of Jesus, I compel men to come and patronize this. And you sit back and suddenly you will see people coming out of everywhere. And you tell your family members, this is the signature of the kingdom the kingdom comes every time an envoy manifests the will of god so go to those families those barren people you know those neighbors you have never prayed for them because you are afraid you say the fibroid is too big or the person is totally blind just try it try it everybody young and old make this week the week that you take steps of faith you are seeing one sinner that God is always talking to you that this person will be a great person. You are afraid of confronting the person. Let this be the week that you go in love and tell the person, my brother, I need to talk to you. Jesus loves you. And you will be surprised that this same power, this is how you will see the person break down and you will be wondering what is happening. Hallelujah. You know somebody that has been writing jam, writing jam, writing wayek, writing wayek, and you know the person is serious. It's a different thing if the person is lazy. Or somebody that has always been stealing. Somebody fornicating every time. He loves God. He's trying to stop. You tell him, I now know what is wrong. I just want you to let me pray for you. And you say, Satan, thou foul devil of lust. You get out of his life. And you watch and see the transformation that comes from his life. Some of you need to go and lock the door and you be a prophet over your own life. Lay hands on yourself and begin to prophesy and say, Satan, an end has come. You are seeing your brother and sister. Their marriage is about breaking. No child. Now I have taught you here that barrenness is not a medical condition. Barrenness is a spiritual condition. It's a sign that there is a presence of a spirit in that place. And if you don't get that devil out of there, they will use every kind of medical therapy and it will not work. Something interesting happened in John chapter 9. He says, and as Jesus passed by, so he, he did not intend staying there. He passed by. And then they saw a man. Usually they would sit on the floor begging for arms. And they saw a man. The Bible says he was born blind. Born blind. And the disciples shared with us a powerful principle. Remember they had been with Jesus. And so Jesus had been teaching them the mysteries of the operation of the kingdom. So they were speaking on the strength of what he had taught them so far. Jesus had been teaching them about different dimensions of the kingdom. And, and the way the laws of the spirit and the laws of the kingdom function. Hallelujah. And the Bible says, while they were passing, they saw an occasion... They saw something that would be an opportunity to find out something that had been brewing in their heart. And they said, Jesus, by the way, let's clarify something. Here is a very good case. This 
is a man that was born blind. So, in light of what you have taught us, who sin? Are you getting it now? So, that means they had a revelation that there are certain predicaments that can come upon a man as a result of his personal violation of the principles of God. That's the first dimension. Are you getting it now? They said, Jesus, here is a man who is sick. On the strength of what you have taught us, it is either the man sinned or his parents sinned. Are you getting this now? That means Jesus had taught them, right? That there are dimensions of evil and, and um, misdeeds that can come upon man as a result of his personal violation of kingdom principles. If you're following me, say amen. Hallelujah. That's the first category we are going to deal with tonight. And then the second category, he said, the man or what? His, how did they know that the sins of parents can be responsible for a man being born blind? I need you to understand the construction of their question. Many times we read these things blindly. They were asking a very serious question out of Revelation. They said, all right, Lord, from what you have taught us if we can infer it has to be this man's sin because jesus had not taught them this new dimension he was about to teach them so he had taught them that every time you saw sickness and misfortune and all kinds of things is the sin of the man sin there meaning his violation of the set principles of the kingdom or the sin of his parents here it comes that means even Jesus and the disciples recognized the role of ancestry and inheritance to causing jeopardy in the lives of people. Are you getting what I'm saying? That means they were saying there was a possibility that the parents of this man would have seen and engaged in certain things that although he was born innocent. Are you getting what I'm saying? And then the third category. Jesus let them know that not only are these two things possible, there is a possibility that certain predicaments can come upon people, not as a result of their personal violation of the kingdom, not as a result of ancestry or inheritance. Are you getting me? That certain things under certain conditions can be orchestrated in the lives of people so that the glory of God can be revealed every one of us in this place tonight falls under one or more of these categories are you getting my point there are some of us the reason why we desperately need a miracle this night is because we have sinned and violated the laws when i talk of sin i'm not just talking of the things we know to be seen lack of righteousness lack of walking in accordance to the principles of the kingdom there are many of us who are here and it may not necessarily be that we violated the kingdom of god the principles of the kingdom but that we are walking in the pain of certain things that have been done before we came let me tell you something very very straight brothers and sisters i always say this i know that many people have taught that there is nothing called a cause look up please i need your attention now we're building that there is nothing called generational curses they are not there's nothing called yokes listen let me tell you the truth if you believe that there are blessings it is very foolish not to believe that there are causes if there were no causes there's no need for blessings are you getting what i'm saying I don't mean to insult all the theologies that we have heard and i'm not saying they are wrong but i'm telling you that many we have done that teaching the full gospel you can get the teaching but when there is inaccurate and incomplete teaching of the truth it leads people into a lot of error are you getting what i'm saying now listen there are certain things in the kingdom that cannot be stopped what happens is that you can operate certain kingdom principles that can exempt you from their effect are you getting what i'm saying so it exempts you 
but it does not mean it cancels the operation of that law please follow what i'm sharing if you get this revelation you will walk out free tonight hallelujah if by reason of certain demonic activities there is a cause over a family watch this and you come to the light of the understanding of redemption what christ has done for you and you operate those principles listen it's not going to just stop that thing from working for everybody it will exempt you and you are out and as many people who are interested in doing what you have done are you getting my point that's the reason why people will still keep dying are you getting what i'm saying as a result of certain things who seen that this man was born blind was it him how could he have seen when he was not born at that time are you getting my point now so jesus said no this is not him because this thing was he was born it was a predicament he found himself with that predicament who seen that you were born with your genotype ss who seen that you found out that there was a family terminal disease you were just born with it are you understanding what i'm saying who seen that you were born with a blood condition who seen that you you just found out that you were in a family that was involved in witchcraft and idol worship you didn't have a choice you were born in it are you getting my point and although you did not contribute anything actively you cannot deny the effect that this thing is causing in your life today we are going to deal with certain issues tonight in the name of the lord jesus christ hallelujah when the thief the two thieves hung on the cross and jesus was at their center one of them looked and said we are being punished for what we did in other words he acknowledged we stole they caught us we are on that cross so all we can ask for is the mercy of god and he said remember me hallelujah so we we see that the law of cause and effect still exists in the realm of the spirit he said do not be deceived god cannot be mocked whatsoever a man sows that shall he we only use it for money is a spiritual law is a spiritual law that means everyone in the kingdom is a farmer you are always sowing you are sowing seeds and the bible says according to the justice system of god whatever it is that you sow you will reap hallelujah there are a number of us that what we are seeing in our lives today are the fruits of our personal violation of the principles of god it may be as a result of ignorance it may be things that happened before you were born again born again or you may even be here and you're, you've not given your heart to the lord that has granted satan listen let me tell you something the way satan works huh please understand this i i i, I shared a little last week you can get the teaching the speaking blood hallelujah our communion service was a powerful time and i did share that the first revelation of the blood is not mercy is the justice of god the mercy of god comes because of the justice system of god hallelujah please let me have two people two guys two gentlemen please just come quickly any two people now come one here one here watch this hallelujah now if this is my handkerchief please everybody look i want to teach you something powerful if this is my handkerchief all right and brother you are trying to take it knowing that it's not your own is that true if you are trying to take it and i suddenly realize you will shift your hand very quickly because you are doing it illegally is that true now but assuming that you come and you now lie to this guy that this handkerchief belongs to you and he pays you for it are you getting the difference now he pays you for this handkerchief and he wants to come and take it and i come in and say this is my handkerchief do you think he will just go back like that 
are you getting my point i want you to understand satan's system of operation in mankind satan operates on a legal ground are you getting what i'm saying when you understand satan's system of operation you will now see the need for the blood you will now see the need for the name of jesus and you will appreciate the benefits of redemption are you getting my point satan did not come to steal dominion from man he was willfully giving look at what he told jesus christ remember in the temptation one of the temptations what did he tell jesus he said all these kingdoms i will give to you if you bow because it was given to me who gave him adam 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 willingly gave man a uh, satan dominion that was why jesus had to collect it legally did jesus look at satan and say i am the christ give me back the keys it would have been a violation of the principles of the kingdom are you getting what i'm saying so every time we walk in sin and iniquity what we are doing is that we are giving satan license are you getting what i'm saying it's an authorization we're giving him authority and so he can stand and say on legal basis bless you thank you for instance let me use one example something that concerns all of us the issues of finance forget about kingdom prosperity when you are not faithful in tithing are you getting what i'm saying now are you seeing that some of us are where we are financially not because the government hates us not because we were born from poor families necessarily are you getting what i'm saying now some of us have consistently violated the set principles you see the principles of the kingdom are not invented you just discover them and walk in it you don't invent a new kingdom principle no it's been there the bible says ask for the ancient part it didn't say create one ask for it it's already there ask for it walk daring and you will find rest for your soul hallelujah again and again we find ourselves violating the principles of the kingdom But I want you to know that whether the predicament is caused by your personal violation of the kingdom, there is still a technology in the spirit that can take you out in the name of the Lord Jesus. And then the issue of the effects of what parents and ancestry and so on and so forth has done. Oh, it's so important. You must understand that these things work our fathers covenanted africa to satan our geographical regions came into fraternity with the kingdom of darkness hallelujah i've had the opportunity to travel around many places and when i enter a city for a meeting if i'm staying there a few days one of the things i want to learn is the culture of the people hallelujah and in a few places that we've had opportunity to i have seen the reason why certain geographical regions are held back that's why you see certain traits come on to certain things and people keep saying it doesn't work just believe there is nothing you are seeing that people are not getting married it's obvious they say don't worry just claim it that nothing is happening faith is not foolishness faith works on proper kingdom understanding not just some shadow guesswork no are you getting what i'm saying now a lot of preachers have said anything you don't understand just take it by faith no faith does not mean haphazard you can know the build up of the factors that are put together that makes you believe that that thing will work that's why the bible says in all you're getting get understanding hallelujah so many of us today are victims you found out that your mother used to be epileptic you were now born love god all your life you were born again maybe from a young age and preachers told you everything is all right but you are seeing the same traits in your parents happening in your life hallelujah 
Everyone that got married in your family, the man or the woman died. You are seeing the traces and people just tell you, don't worry, everything is okay. Just jump and shout around and say it's fine. See, there are a lot of people carrying lots of disappointment and pain in church from the result of wrong teachings that we men of God have given people. It's just that they don't have the courage to confront us and call us wicked people. But there are many misguided teachings that we have brought the body of Christ into that is causing them to die. And you see, because of the man of God is always the one receiving the honorarium. Is that true? He's always the one receiving the blessings. He's always the one. He's shielded somewhat from the effect of all of these things. Even if he falls sick, as a result of his own ignorance he has money to remedy his predicament fast so nobody will know who is deceiving who are you following me tonight the bible shows us clearly that a possibility exists for people to be benefactors of either the right doing or the wrong doings of those who have gone ahead of them hallelujah number three which may be the situation of some of us here jesus introduced something new to them hmm. verse three jesus answered neither that means there is still a possibility that you may have remedied the issue of all kinds of evil that comes through family lineage it's possible that you may have come into a point where you are born again and genuinely walking in the way of the lord but then you will notice that certain evils may seem to happen unrestrained and you may be tempted to ask the question lord what did i do wrong are you getting the point now because as far as i'm concerned any cause and any yoke over my life has been broken i know i'm free based on the truth of god's word i now have the revelation of the blood i'm born again i know what christ has done and i have applied it in my life so i don't expect that there will be any family curse working in my life again and i know that i'm walking by the principles of god and where i fall short of his standard i understand the principles of repentance and i know how to approach the throne of mercy but jesus said there are certain things that can happen in your life and this is not for everybody are you getting my point he said there are certain things that are orchestrations and the bible says so that at a certain time the glory of God may be revealed in your life. I know that this contradicts many messages that many of us have had. But this is the Bible. Are you getting my point? A man called Job, for instance. The Bible tells us that this was a man who feared God and eschewed evil. It was God's own testimony. Not a man. God who dwells in light where there is no shadow of darkness gave a testimony about a man satan himself came and said as a result of this man's faithfulness there was a hedge belt around him and i satan could not even penetrate him and he said lord does job serve you for nothing he said take away what he has and watch the way he will cause you to your face i hope you know that those in the earth realm did not know there was a drama happening in the heavenlies are you getting my point that was why when job's predicament came three men came together with elihu and from their human logical point what did they say they kept quiet for seven days seven days they could not talk to job later they opened their mouth and said job what sin did you do that bring this kind of catastrophe and job said be careful lest you bring a curse upon yourself he said though he slay me yet will i praise him i know my heart is clean i know my slate is clean Oh Lord, I served you. But I saw my father die. I prayed and prayed and prayed. We fasted. We even had revelations that he was going to leave. But he died. Are you seeing that now? And he was a man who feared God. 
or my mother or my brother oh lord i wrote jam in integrity and i read i did everything but the result came out and i may have to repeat one whole year again oh god i would have cheated in that exam hall but i stayed and because of it now i have an extra year he said for such kind of people there is a technology in the spirit that is able to walk these things out and build a dimension of glory i'm preaching to someone tonight hallelujah we are very quick to be judgmental over people you suddenly see sickness ravaging a family and you're seeing that they love god the woman is the sanctuary keeper cleaning everywhere yet our children are dying and people just look and say oh god oh dear that means that there is a hidden sin in this woman's life but the bible says at the end of job's life when god made a boast with him god gave him twice everything his daughters were the fairest in the city the wife of job looked at him and said do you still hold your integrity in other words whether you hold your integrity or not as far as we are concerned the situation so just cause god justify what people are saying so that it will be that it's your sin that killed you and job said why do you talk like one of these foolish women he said though he slay me yet will i praise him what did i do wrong oh god that until now i am not married what did i do wrong that in our family there's no marriage what did i do wrong that everybody is poor and broke in our family we get money and nothing happens as far as we are concerned we are christians even if there is a cause or something I've, I've gone for deliverance so what is wrong i bring a word for someone tonight god is about to birth a dimension of glory in your life that you listen when god is done with you you will appreciate it you will begin to thank god and say lord it was good when i passed through this valley of the shadow of death i did not know that it was you making a boast of me in the realm of the spirit and though others have compromised and married he says john remained in the wilderness until his season of appearance let me prophesy to you that though weeping endures for a night my bible tells me that joy comes with the morning it says he that weepeth bearing precious seeds shall doubtless return rejoicing there are many people today who are going through certain things because they are christians not because they are unbelievers we have been trained to criticize and persecute people because we have been taught by myopic preachers whose god is their belly and based on the things they see reading just at first sight they just believe when jesus hung on the cross the people who had had this message stood by that cross and they said what is all this this man healed the sick this man did this i i mean we saw him walk away from the crowd we saw him do a lot of things could he be so weak that he's helpless on that cross that men can mock him why didn't he demonstrate that he is the king of kings and lord of lords but for the glory jesus was prophetically speaking about himself in that third instance but i have come under the anointing to announce to somebody that when the anointing of the spirit shows up part of the things that it does to you is it says to appoint unto them in zion you know what that means to set a date for your freedom it says to appoint to appoint isaiah 61 it says the spirit of the lord is upon me for he has anointed me to preach good tidings to the poor to bind up the brokenhearted to set the captives free it says to appoint unto those who mourn you know what it means to appoint if i appoint you and i say you are a gatekeeper what happens you assume duty so to appoint means prophetically to look at the people and through the access of the prophetic to say we call your time of deliverance today it says to appoint unto them that more you will be changed his glory will be revealed 
when the spirit takes over your soul that's what will happen to somebody tonight when the spirit takes over your soul when the spirit takes over your soul you will be changed his glory will be revealed when the spirit takes over your soul tonight God will take away that garment of shame he will take it away he will remove it and give you a new garment that when you step out everyone will know that you met the Lord I want you to believe I'm not just motivating you his glory will be revealed when the spirit takes over your soul i'm prophesying to you you will be changed his glory will be revealed when the spirit takes over your soul you will be changed your glory will be revealed when the spirit takes over and for medical reports that need to be changed tonight it will be changed his glory will be revealed when the spirit takes over i don't care what the doctors have said i bring you a higher word you will be changed his glory will be revealed when the spirit takes over your soul. That garment of reproach over your life, it will be changed. His glory will be revealed when the spirit takes over your soul. And his mother called him Jabez. She said, because I bore him in sorrow. Jabez did not name himself. He was a victim of his mother's prophecy. His mother's pain made her to call him Jabez. Jabez. A name that brought sorrow. And Jabez grew up. Everywhere he went, he saw sorrow. What did this man do? Who sinned? Was it him or his parents? Jabez's mother cursed him he said you caused me sorrow as a result you will live in sorrow but the day came Jabez said no come on God there must be a way of negotiating this he said oh that thou wouldest bless me remedy this cause over my life oh that thou wouldest bless me I can't live like this Lord you are a just God you must give me an option to demonstrate whether I want to practice witchcraft or not I cannot be suffering because my father was a king I can't be suffering because we worship idols I was not there come on now the children shall not suffer the iniquity of their parents I was not there when they went to the river to make sure my mother gets a child Lord we must negotiate this night there is a way I'm going to hold on to you there must be a justice system that will get me out of this mess tonight you will be changed his glory will be revealed when the spirit takes over your soul listen hear me friends if you can hold on to the hand of God tonight you will leave this place with something but if you come here casually he will keep clapping for people who came here desperately there are people who have been fasting for this meeting for days and they said lord i'm holding on to you jabez mother called him jabez and jabez said oh god thou would you not bless me enlarge my coast and the bible said god answered him hallelujah The thief on the cross after realizing that what was happening to him was a due recompense for his wickedness 
he said remember me in your kingdom oh lord i do not come trying to justify myself lord i know i slept around that's why i have the terminal disease right now i'm not trying to claim right but i understand that there is a principle in the spirit that grants us access to come before the throne of grace lord i know i used to drink and smoke that's why i have liver condition i know that what is happening to me was not any wickedness of ancestry it's as a result of my carelessness i know i've not been tithing i know i've not been i've not been giving i've been sleeping with other people's husbands or carrying other people's wives and children around and i know that i gave satan legal access but tonight oh god i'm negotiating with you i come what do you think going to the throne of grace is it's not just to go and stand there you go and talk and say lord it is written it is written although it is true that the soul that sins die it is written also that is not your desire that any wicked perish it is written you take the word of god the legal system of heaven he said produce your cause bring forth your strong reasons convince me what is the legal basis for your freedom from this witchcraft convince me i saw a pattern that happened from my maternal side in my family it looked like every firstborn male there were certain things that happened to them when i saw it i said no way somebody shout no way this night come on now you need to get angry and say no way i have seen it coming so you will stop it say nobody passes 25 years my own father my blood father his elder brother is late younger brother is late i found out that when they got to a certain age range no matter how high they were they must drop down and die my father has served god all his life but it did not change and then my father was sick almost at the point of death thank god for revelation Haya. arise shine my light is come and the glory of the lord is risen upon me we will arise arise shine our light is come The glory of the Lord is risen upon me. Hallelujah. And I got angry. I said, Lord, if there is nobody to speak in my family, I can't speak. What is happening? My younger sister collapsed while she was writing examination. My elder sister for years would not get admission. Things were just upside down in my family someone needs to prophesy tonight say order hold on you know how they shout order in court when there's confusion somebody must speak and say order come on now i prophesy let there be order listen if there is nobody to speak in your family the altars that speak will keep speaking until somebody comes with an apostolic spirit and says i provoke another voice i come with the rod of a higher priesthood i come with the rod of a higher priesthood hallelujah please sit down for a moment we are soon going to stand up i sense the anointing of the spirit strong let me teach you something about priesthood please look up the bible began to tell us in the book of hebrews hallelujah when it comes to walking in the justice system of god you don't do it as a king you go back as a priest are you getting the revelation that was why when the bible was about to explain to us the legal system of the blood and redemption kings were not mentioned again he started mentioning priests you now see why it is the priest in the village not the king that does all the connection with the gods so the bible says that there are different kinds of priesthood and every priest in ancient time had a rod are you getting my point that rod was not a symbol of authority it was a token that connected them with the gods are you getting what i'm saying 
so there were different kinds of levitical priesthoods and the rest who offered sacrifices and they tried to know the mind of god but the bible tells us that this very priest this high priest they said he came after the order of a strange man called melchizedek you know who melchizedek was melchizedek was a was the king of salem the ancient city jerusalem the bible says having neither father or mother question neither father or mother that means could not be affected by any ancestry are you getting my point melchizedek a man who came that was the similitude of the christ that was why it was melchizedek standing in that priesthood that blessed abraham he said abraham you don't know who is blessing you but you come blessed be abraham possessor of he says son of the most high possessor of the heavens and the earth what gave how can a man bless a fellow man like that the bible says based on the principle of adumbration that means the four acting of something that will actually act melchizedek was a prophetic manifestation of the christ just like elijah are you getting my point now elijah came manifesting as the spirit of the prophetic moses came as the law so melchizedek showed up and he said abraham you come from a land of witchcraft called all of the chaldeans they were wizards in that place are you getting my point abraham was not born a christian abraham was born an idol worshiper and when he met this priest called Mel melchizedek he said let me do something to you abraham come i'm about to change certain things look at me you are not going to get anything from my ancestry without father or mother yet i'm a king and still i am a priest he said melchizedek from today possess the heavens i mean abraham possess the heavens and the earth we talk so much about abraham but the man that spoke and changed his situation melchizedek right now we have come as those sons and daughters of abraham are you getting my point and the bible tells us that the priest that will speak to us that priest comes in the order of melchizedek so when the habalists lift up their rod like the egyptians suddenly a priest steps in with the rod of a higher priesthood and he says all right you can say what you want to say but we change it because there is respect in the spirit the military system is an organized system because it was borrowed from the way angels walk in the spirit never at any point with a man with an inferior rank talk or walk against the man it's not about size it's not about age it's about ranking so when this priest comes after the order of melchizedek he lifts up that rod and he opens up the door for you he says walk out of all this and that high priest christ himself who became both the lamb and became the high priest is here for you tonight listen listen it doesn't matter which of these three categories there are many people who will be saying lord i know i just came here to find out whether there can be mercy for me i want you to know there is abundance of it that voice that speaks against you there is another blood that speaks and for many of us who are coming it's not your fault but you were born from that state tonight a rod of a higher priesthood will be lifted for you i have waited for this moment to come Go back to the way it used to be before your presence came and changed me. I won't go back. I won't go back. Can't go back to the way it used to be before your presence came. 
So tonight, I want you to believe. Jesus told us something. He said, as my father has sent me. Hiya. With the same assignment and the same equipping. Let's look at that scripture. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, just pray in tongues for one minute. Something just entered my spirit. As my father has sent me with the same equipping, with the same equipping. John 20. John 20. John 20. Ah! Goodness. John 20. Are you there? Then said Jesus to them, Listen, peace be to you as my father has sent me. He said, Even so, send I you. So he showed us the very next verse how the father sent him. That means he equipped me. The father did something to me. And I'm about to do the same thing to you. And it will make you do the works that he did. Watch this. 22. And when he had said this, he breathed on them. He said, this is the secret. Receive ye the Holy Ghost. Receive ye the Holy Ghost. I transfer the ministry of the Holy Spirit from me to you. Let him walk with you and you will do wonders. You will suddenly become a priest. You will suddenly become a king. The same way I set men free. He will empower you and you will set men free. The same way I spoke and it came to pass. Now the same way the Holy Ghost walked with me. This was my secret. Receive ye. Receive. That means you can reject him. He said receive. Don't reject him. Receive. When he comes to you, receive. His presence makes you become like Jesus. It's not about praying in tongues. It's more than praying in tongues. You receive him. You can reject him. Jesus said when he comes, receive. Receive. Don't reject. Many people have been rejecting him. You are praying in tongues but you've been rejecting him tonight receive him receive him receive his ministry jesus said when he comes receive the holy ghost receive the holy ghost receive the holy ghost receive the holy ghost the same way you receive a visitor question how do you receive a visitor in your house when a visitor comes you put a chair you say you are welcome let me bring food for you what do you want that's how to receive you don't stand at the door and say mr man what did you come to look for that's how many of us are receiving the holy ghost you are praying in tongues but you truly have not received his ministry tonight will you receive that ministry will you receive the same way you receive a visitor the bible says be careful entertain men well for in need some of you have entertained strangers that's why you see us honor his presence so much because jesus left him without the holy spirit while i was praying i said holy spirit we're in partnership with you i will do the talking i will do all the things my own part of the deal i will do it well and i know for sure that's what gives us confidence to announce that people will be healed that's what gives us confidence there is an audacity there is always a side to your life you cannot explain that's the side where the holy ghost steps in if you can explain everything about your life you are walking alone there should be a supernatural dimension i've explained to you the part of the meeting that can be explained the other part now the holy ghost does not just talk he explains it with the results oh that's why i love him doesn't have room for long stories tonight god is giving someone another opportunity to raise a cry of dissatisfaction and say lord i'm tired the worship team sang it beautifully they said i'm tired of the status quo tonight there are many of us here who may be wondering but what is wrong with my life 
I've not done anything wrong. What you need is an appointment by prophecy. The Bible says to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion to give them beauty for ashes, the oil of gladness for the spirit of heaviness. It says that they may be called the oaks of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he might be glorified. We're going to pray. The Lord assured me of his presence in a mighty way to heal, especially for the sick. You must get angry this night and say, Lord, I'm not going back with that situation. See, don't get too used to it. The same way you receive the Holy Spirit, reject certain things. Hallelujah. Let me show you one scripture. Back to our text, John 9. Let me tell you what can happen to you when you don't open up your heart to receive. John chapter 9. While I was reading today, I had to stop and say, goodness. So this thing did not start now. Two things can happen to you if you do not position yourself to receive. Number one, 9 verse 16. Listen to what happened. We have been accusing very innocent people around our society because we are not open to receive. John 9 verse 16. Are you ready? Read. Therefore, said some of the Pharisees, okay, this man is, this is Jesus they are talking about. Are you getting my point now? They saw somebody receiving a fantastic miracle. They saw this man getting blessed. And now they were frustrated because this thing was not just working. What kind of power is it? There are probably some of you here who have heard of the things that God is doing. And probably you just came to watch and see. Let me verify for myself. Look at it. It didn't just start today. Satan always wants to discredit people who are doing the things that God has asked them to do he said this man is not of god because he keepeth not the sabbath day what kind of silly excuse is that look at the excuse they were bringing those people lose their cattle they lose their cattle be careful lest you allow the devil cheat you by putting a very doubtful heart and you keep looking and say are miracles really real do people really get healed is it true it's a big shame that when people are healed we associate it most of the time to witchcraft power so we agree that witches and wizards can heal and then we are saying the lord of glory cannot heal verse 18 Oh, oh, oh. but the jews did not do what the jews did not believe concerning him that he had been blind that's another thing so you either say the man of god is not a genuine man of god or the miracle that happened is not genuine that's what they said they said we don't believe that the man has been born blind and received his sight until they called his parents so you can watch people ss genotype in your presence chain and he said there's no way i'm studying medicine or i'm a doctor this thing cannot happen or you watch somebody holding a crutch get healed or somebody blind or deaf or someone oppressed liberated and you say just like that just like that what are you doing are you seeing two things can happen when your heart is not open to receive you can sit down and keep doubting this man of god is he using something If it's easy to get the something get it how many of you remember one gentleman called Sadiq Ibrahim I never knew it was so difficult to get power from the kingdom of darkness until that guy came he came to give some of you were around that miracle service this guy was a terrorist he was a terrorist he was part of the people that trained those who fought for post-election violence and he came was dying of HIV right dying of tuberculosis he had slept in the grave three days he said he could enter a church 
and look at a man of God and blow this whatever magic portion and the man of God will just get confused on the stage so he came for koinonia just like this and he was sitting outside hallelujah as soon as I came up on stage when he saw people falling he said there's power in this place whether there's witchcraft power or God's power there is power in this place because he knows what it means the kind he went to sleep in the grave for three days murdered little children and used their blood for sacrifice so that guns will not enter his body just for that little thing see the sacrifice you think it's easy to get power from satan get it hallelujah that guy was there he's on video as soon as i stepped on stage he said as soon as i came on stage all he saw was light and fire and that was the end of it he didn't even know when he collapsed then i called him by word of knowledge and i said he should come he's on video go and watch it right there he was healed of hiv he was healed of tuberculosis the results were there i mean some of you we then we used to meet also there he testified he gave his testimony he was verified it shocked him that was when he made up his mind they were still looking for him to kill him brothers and sisters the power of god exists miracles still happen i know that many of you believe but you have not received that reality that your situation can change tonight i believe god for somebody let's trust god together let's trust god together let's trust god together and say lord it can change it can change that genotype can change they refuse to allow you marry because you are ss that genotype can change that genotype can change you must not understand how everything can happen the bible says just as you do not know how bones are formed in the womb of how a child not the way of the wind that's how you do not know the work of god there are certain dimensions that are inexplainable hallelujah selena is here where is selena wave your hand i think it was her auntie that that one time we prayed for she had triplets right or something the children are still alive triplets one two three three children i just felt a need to clear this air because some of you come with all kinds of cynical spirits and you have problems that are killing you but rather than opening your heart you are there just wondering is god really the one doing this can somebody just fall down like that without being touched is it really true is it real it's not your fault it's the way some of us were raised you don't have to be angry listen listen when you ever hear a man criticizing a man of god don't blame the person never insult the person they are only talking that while we were insulting jesus christ on the cross what did he do he said father forgive them forgive them never find yourself trying to defend yourself no no it's not part of your ministry the psalmist said in psalm 3 thou O lord art a shield for me he says you are my glory and the lifter up of my head i always tell people gamaliel spoke beautifully he said if it is of god no man can stop it if it is not of god it will fail there's no one beside you I lead the earth to worship you. Who is there like you? There's no one beside you. I lead the earth to worship you. I lead the earth to worship you. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus, change our situation tonight. There are many of us, as you're sitting looking at me right now, the problem that you have is only God that can help you because the load is too much. Are you getting me? There are some of you, it's like I see you in the hospital. Your situation right now is a matter of life and death. Your own is just it's not just admission 
maybe there is a terminal disease i remember a particular lady i was talking to i think she might be somewhere here a herbal is predicted her death today today this 25th the herbal is predicted that is today that she will die so when i got to hear about it i said interesting come and die here hallelujah just come and die here there is a rod of a higher priesthood there is a rod of a higher priesthood is there anything too hard for me to do i am that i am that's what god is asking somebody tonight is there anything too hard for me to do i am that i am Prophesy. Is there anything too hard for me to do? I am that I am. Rise up on your feet and begin to prophesy. I believe you. Oh, I believe, I believe, I believe. I believe. I believe. I believe. Everywhere, inside and outside, connect. This is the moment of faith. I'm about to step back and let this most Holy Spirit step into your life. Is there anything? Too hard for me to do. I am that I am. Is there anything too hard for me to do? I am that I am. Come on, celebrate the God of for him to do I am that I am is there anything too hard for him to do I am that I am lift your hands everybody and let us worship him Emmanuel, 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 your name is called Emmanuel, your name is called.
Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. His name is called Emmanuel. His name is called. Listen. The Bible says, listen. It says, with God, all things are possible. With God, all things. What is not possible with God? Involve God and it becomes possible. That sickness will never go. But with God, that sickness suddenly leaves. That situation will never change. But with God. That's why we are singing that song, Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Hiya. Emmanuel, 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 his name is called, your name is called. Before I minister, I begin ministering. Hallelujah. There are two people that God is going to visit in a very strong way. Hallelujah. Both of them are outside. Hallelujah. The power of God will come mightily upon them. I don't know what it is that God wants to do. Those outside, just lift your hands. Thank you, Jesus. I see the angels of the Lord walking outside. Two people. The power of God is coming mightily right now as I speak upon them. Please let me have them inside. Two people, mightily. It's a strong spirit of prophecy in this place. Two people, very mightily. By the power of the Holy Ghost. His name is called Emmanuel. His name is called Emmanuel. Hallelujah. Those of you in this row, just lift your hands. I don't know what it is that I see the angels of the Lord doing here. I see the angels of the Lord moving at the count of three there will be such a move of the spirit in this road let me have the people outside thank you Jesus one two three let the power of God move right now right now Ena na ne na si kanya, shaba ne na se na riani. Is the fire of the Holy Ghost, Emmanuel. His name is God, Emmanuel. His name is God. Emmanuel, his name is called Emmanuel, his name is called Bring her, no devil will stop her. Your name is called. Oh, in my 
more time. Your name is called. Your name is called. Emmanuel. Your name is called. Emmanuel. Lord, your name is called. Your name is God. Yeah, Pastor. Emmanuel. Lord, your name is God. Emmanuel. Your name is God. Emmanuel. Your name is God. Emmanuel, his name is called Emmanuel, your name is called Emmanuel, his name is called. His name is God, Emmanuel, he is called, Emmanuel, hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the presence of God, no demon, no devil, no altar. I don't care what altar of darkness. My altar is calling you. Oh God. My altar is calling you. Oh God. My secret place is calling you, oh God. My worship is calling you, oh God. My worship is calling you, oh God. Take my praise. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands. I see the angels of the Lord moving now. Lift your hands. We're about to cause devils and wicked spirits. Please follow me, instrumentalists. We are going to cause every power. The Bible says, every tree that has not been planted by my father, that tree must give way. And I come under an apostolic anointing in the name of the one whose I am and whom I serve. That at the count of three, any power that is not of God, inside and outside, at the count of three, we challenge those devils by the fire of the Holy Ghost. As you shout three, the power of God will rush inside and outside. And there will be massive deliverances right now. Are you ready now? One. Two, three, shout Jesus. Shake up a pack of pressure. I cause powers. Every wicked power, every demon, every activity of darkness. I cause you now. 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 Every act of witchcraft. Shake it. By the fire of the Holy Ghost, you come under the judgment of God inside and outside. Right now, let the power of God bring deliverance 
for upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance, there shall be holiness, and the sons of Jacob shall possess their possession. Hallelujah. Those outside, just those outside, goodness. I see a number of angels. You're going to shout Jesus after the count of three. Outside means everywhere that is not in. And there will be massive deliverance. Thank you, Jesus. Are you ready now, those outside? I see the power of God like files of fire. One, two, at the count of three. Shout Jesus, three. We dethrone altars. We dethrone yokes of darkness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Those outside be sensitive. There is so much power. I don't know what it is, but the, the power of God is so strong outside. In the name of our God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Name of our God. Bring the lady. Most high. Most high. You're the Lord. Most high. Leave this girl in peace now. Go now. Let her go. Don't waste our time. Let her go now. Bring this lady, please. I set you free. Now, out of her now, that devil of darkness. Blessed is he who comes in the Hallelujah. Please help her, ladies. It's not easy, I know. Just find it's time for her deliverance. Bring her. Come. Don't force her, she will come. Now, quickly. I call you Lord Most High. Don't touch her, she will come by herself. Let her go now. In the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Out of her now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let her go now. Thank you Jesus. I bring you liberty. Be free now. In Jesus name. She's free.
in the name of Jesus it's over let her go now the blood of Jesus the name of Jesus Christ thank you you died for her let her go I come with the rod of a higher priest who let her go in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ thank you father I give you all the praise she's delivered completely in the name of Jesus Christ thank you I anoint you guys let the anointing of the spirit flow through you as you minister in the name of Jesus she will go come lay hands on this lady out of her now thou devil of darkness I cost you I see you in the spirit out out let her go free her time of deliverance is now I speak to you wicked spirit let her go now Jesus died listen let me tell you there is no power listen there is no power that will resist the power of God tonight the Bible says let every soul be subject to the higher powers have you read that in your Bible let every soul be subject when it sees powers that are higher than it it should be subject let every soul hallelujah Esther 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 there is an Esther that is not feeling fine you're sick not just I know there are many Esthers the Lord is ministering to me I don't know what is wrong with that Esther but you need a miracle a healing miracle Esther please let's save time there is a lot we have to do tonight Esther who is Deborah 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 you are outside that Deborah is wearing red you are wearing red red with black spots it's a shirt red with black spots Deborah come your name is Deborah I'm hearing the name Queen Queen is I think that's supposed to be a name Queen who is Queen 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 you are Esther come come on while you hold them look guys speak to them and let them you will waste your time with demon spirits have a way of wasting people's time don't you will save yourself a lot of energy it makes no difference who is speaking queen who is queen? you are queen i need to pray for you you have a blood condition victoria 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 I'm hearing the name Gabriel. Gabriel, who is Gabriel? Gabriel, please just save time when I mention your case. Gabriel. Gabriel is outside. Outside. The Lord is ministering to me. Outside. Gabriel, you are. Is it outside? Yes. Gabriel is outside. You are Gabriel. You are outside. Hallelujah. Come, my dear. What is wrong with you? I need to pray for you. Because... The Lord is ministering to me. I saw this lady and I saw something that looks like a lizard and is sucking her blood physically. Look, come, come up. Look at this girl. Look at her. You will know that this girl doesn't look healthy. You don't even know what. And the Lord just opened my eyes and I saw something like a lizard. 
just leads to her heart region and is just sucking her blood. This is how somebody just gets up and just dies. What happens to you? Your chest region. That devil is a liar. You'll be free. Hallelujah. There's no time to minister to your individual needs. Are you following me now? If God gives me a word for you, I'll just pray. Otherwise, ah, okay. come, 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 come. You must be set free. Now hold my hands. Out! Come out of her now. Out! Now! Blessed is he who comes. I set you free from this captivity. Be free now. Praise the Lord. I'm going to pray for you. Who is having serious abdominal pain? You're having pain, just your stomach region here, very seriously. One of you here, because I'm feeling that same pain, so I know. You? Let me pray for you. But, but that's, that's not really the major thing wrong with you. What's wrong with you? now thank you Jesus I bring you the power that is in the name of Jesus lay your hands on your stomach be healed right now in the name of Jesus Christ father I pray for all of these people as I lay hands on you it doesn't matter what the situation is in the name of Jesus Christ I set you free in the name of Jesus Christ walk into the blessings and the promises of God in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ be set free right now by the power of the Holy Spirit be set free in the name of the Lord Jesus um the Lord is showing me about three people there's a severe skin infection that is you have done all you It's a very serious thing in fact it's even embarrassing it's even embarrassing there are three people this is one there's, there's there's two more please quickly it's a serious thing you have you have prayed about it you have used drugs nothing has gone please i'm seeing three people it's time for god to set you free don't worry if there are still more people you can connect i'm just telling you the one that god is showing me. i don't care what it is we sang that god will set you free please don't come out here to try god it will leave i don't care what it is hallelujah thank you jesus please those with peptic ulcers just get ready all kinds of ulcers we're going to pray for you now please make sure it's, it's only skin infection only skin infection hold my hands madam i set you free in the name of jesus be free now be free now in the name of jesus be free now in the name of jesus as i pray for you just go back to your seat oh, the power of god is strong on my hands be free now in the name of Jesus I cause that spirit be free now in the name of Jesus let him go I set you free be free now by the power of the Holy Spirit I cause skin infection in the name that is above all names hold my hands look at me look at me I'm seeing you tied not only are you I pray that God will visit you in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, let her go free in the name of Jesus. Let her go free right now in the name of Jesus. You're suffering from any kind of ulcer, any kind of ulcer. We're just flowing as the Holy Ghost is, is ministering right now. There is a lot to be done. So please, ulcers, ulcers, God is ministering to me. visit your people oh god these are the ones that you died for look how many people 
are inflicted by ulcers i'll pray for you very quickly please i want you to believe as i lay my hands on on you the power of god will come upon you and you'll be free just begin to breathe in some of you will feel because the lord is opening my eyes and i'm seeing it you will feel something leave you just come out of you hallelujah thank you jesus christ be free now out come out of her now in the name of jesus out out of her thank you jesus christ be free right now out out please as i pray for you check yourself he's able out come out i'll pray for you and i'll talk to you In the name of jesus christ i set you free by the power of the holy ghost i set you free by the power of the holy ghost in the name of jesus christ i set you free be free now in the name of jesus christ be free in the name of jesus christ he's able bring the lady shout in there hey, hey, hey. say he's able let her go in the name of jesus I set you free by the power of the highest. Say God is able. God is able. God. God is And that spirit of infirmity leave her right now never to return be free now in jesus name complete freedom is showing me someone you came here i'm seeing someone in your family lying down on the bed it's like a terminal disease that's one of the major reasons why you came here the lord is showing me is a woman i think your mother someone's mother lying down on the bed who is that person i'm seeing someone on the bed and it's a very serious situation please who is that let's save time we have to really really be fast there's a lot to do who is that person please if you are the one just find your way quickly so i can pray with you Who went to shika and came back shika and came back because this person i'm seeing they took the person to shika and brought the person back you my mother has one being in shika she went to shika what are you people coming out for why is the man insisting that is the one what is it you came from shika you are coming from shika What's wrong with you? 
this one is a woman who is not you but anyway what's this situation but it's a, no 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 what what just straight to the point what happened my body is very hot and the, the head is turning me like move i want to fall this is the spirit of death now you would have died before today hold my hands i want to pray with you you'll be free now thank you jesus i set you free in the name of the lord jesus christ what couldn't you do before Ogasa? what couldn't you do before what couldn't you do before what what is it that you could not do before okay come climb let's see if you feel weak again i pray for you just just walk let me see try to jump any weakness don't worry now if you want to jump you fall Shabia, i've prayed for you fall and die here jump <laughs> any weakness any weakness in your body try it again try it again. look at this is somebody that came he said he went to shika Huh? Are you sure? Don't pretend though. Are you feeling fine? You are completely fine. You are here because I saw the spirit of death. Your own is not just sickness. Lord, it is perfected in the name of Jesus. Please take on your shoes. <laughs> Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me somebody with a condition. Is this my left or right leg? This is left. My left leg. I don't know if it's a, if it's a bone condition or a pain that you have in there. Please, who is that person? The Lord wants to heal you right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. You're the one? Oh, you can see it. You can even see it. What's the problem? I actually played football. Right? You're a footballer? I had a fracture for eight months. You have a fracture. Now, on the leg, there is a fracture. Is it true? Please make sure you tell us the truth when you come here. Look at me. Watch yourself get healed now. Come close your eyes open your eyes thank you jesus christ Aya. the holy spirit young gicho wrote a book he said the holy spirit my senior partner watch what happens to this guy now my brother look at me you are an adult so you will not tell lies right watch i don't want you to miss your miracle where is the fracture exactly all right watch what happens to you now lay your own hands there the hands you'll be using every day thank you lord jesus christ you sense what is happening to you right now are you seeing this look at what is happening to him you see the power of god you see the power of god on him he's laying hands on himself oh, and he cannot even stand again that's the end of it stand up stand up jump do what you couldn't do just do it test yourself look at this look at see the guys even rejoicing this is somebody with a fracture, fracture on his leg. Come on, give Jesus praise for on here. See, there's no, there's no pain. Try doing like this. Do like this. That's how you know whether there was pain or not. Look at, look at, look at what you do. Come on, give Jesus praise. Hallelujah. God bless you. Never return. Your leg. Come, 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 don't worry. What's the situation? Yeah, pain. Pain there. Let me see. Just, just the, no, 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 you don't need to lift your hand. Just that point. The joint there. How long? Since two weeks now. Two weeks. What happened? Just like that. You woke up and the pain refused to go. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Which one do you want? You want to lay hands on yourself or I should just pray? <laughs> Huh? all right but seriously let's pray hold my hands heal her lord set her free right now the power of god is coming upon you that leg in the name of jesus christ no pain see that's the power of god coming upon your leg check yourself check honestly check yourself look at the power of god is moving strongly check check do you feel any pain you feel any She's even surprised. No pain is. Give Jesus praise. 
that devil has gone never to return again in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ hallelujah hallelujah goodness the Lord just showed me a mighty miracle that has happened now someone you have a hole you used to have a hole in your teeth check it now you will not see that hole there please check it and come out this is a miracle that has just happened now please I'm going to start praying in mass for people but you will be very surprised when when that happens to you just come out quickly the Lord should once God shows me something he has done it please check yourself check yourself we're not faking this thing here make sure you check yourself you will be very surprised to find out that there used to be a hole and that hole is closed hallelujah let me pray for you your mother your mother let me pray for you father in the name of Jesus let there be healing for your mother wherever she is let there be healing for your mother in the name of Jesus why did you come out for your mother hold my hands father for mommy we pray let there be healing and perfection in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ Please make sure you only come out for the cases I come. Why is he out? Eh? Okay, let me pray for you. Father, for the mother, we agree right now. Let there be freedom in the name of Jesus. Look at this. Look at the miracle. Your teeth is closed now. Come, come. Please, we need a witness. We need a witness. Is it true? Don't tell lies here. You are in the presence of God. Where is it? sorry can you open your mouth for me to see i'm sorry i'm sorry i hope that's not let me see you used to have a hole please come whether come and check no let's have any independent person so that you don't say we are acting this thing now come come and check check if there is any hole are you are you seeing that there's no it was really paining me when i it was paining you when you came here the hole has been there who knows about it only your sister knows about it and it's and you've been healed any pain now thank you jesus we give you all the praise in the name of the lord jesus christ hallelujah praise the lord now please stand up everybody i want to pray for eye conditions now let's just flow the way god is Please, if you have any problem with your eye, just lay your hands. There will be healing miracles right now. There will be healing miracles right now with the eyes. Immediately, I pray for you. Some of you, the power of God will touch your eyes. Just check yourself. And when you find out that there is a miracle, I want to take a few testimonies there. Please lift, your, lift one hand and place one hand on your eyes. Jesus, we give you the praise. Hallelujah right now in the name of jesus christ i rebuke every kind of eye problem in the name of jesus i cause cataract in the name of jesus glaucoma i cost you now in the name of jesus short-sightedness long-sightedness be healed right now in the name of jesus by the power of the holy ghost i command to be healed and every spirit of blindness every spirit of infirmity every kind of blindness whether in one eye whether in both eyes i rebuke you right now i command be healed in the name of jesus be healed in the name of jesus now check yourself please check yourself check yourself god is doing great miracles check yourself check yourself check yourself hallelujah while they are doing that the lord is showing me people with heart conditions heart conditions you have a heart condition whether a hole in your heart or any kind of heart condition please can i have those people heart condition you've been diagnosed medically to have a heart condition you have a heart problem who is preparing to go to India for is preparing to go to India for surgery. What of you? Yes, sir. What of you? You you have a heart problem. Since when did you know about it? February. The doctors told you. What did they say is wrong? Palpitation. Palpitation. Oh. Doctor, doctor. Where's that doctor in Ushers? You are the one self. Oh yeah, Ogasa, what does that mean? Doctor, tell us. 
Huh? Say she has palpitations. Abnormal beating of the heart. Ah, okay. It's loud and you can hear it even when she is. So it's a, you don't use stethoscope, you can hear it. So it's a serious situation. She will be healed now. You're a doctor now, wait. You'll go to hospital tomorrow, but for now. My dear, do you believe Jesus will heal you completely? Lay one hand on your chest. Lord, let her be healed right now. The power of God is flowing through you. Just breathe in and out. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Be healed right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Be set free. Please check yourself. Lord, have mercy on the Father in the name of Jesus. How do you know now? Try it. Breathe in and out. Let's see. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Let there be perfection in the name of Jesus. Let there be perfection. The devil wants to bring stroke as I just held you. Huh? Is that true? You're already feeling half of you. Some. Okay, your dad too of stroke. Because immediately I, had, I held your hand, I just saw stroke. Father, we rebuke that stroke in the name of Jesus Christ by the power of the Holy Ghost. Be healed right now. We are going to rebuke delay in marriage now. Rise up on your feet. The devil is a liar. Please rise up on your feet. Some of you are smiling. That means it doesn't concern you. Because those who it really concerns is a serious issue. Praise God. Hallelujah. Now, I'm going to pray for you. Please follow me, guys. Hallelujah. Most marital delays are demonic in nature. And we're going to arrest it right now. You can stand in for yourself. You can stand in for your loved ones. Please lift your hands, everybody. You'll be amazed at what will happen right now. Everyone, please lift your hands. You can stand for yourself. You can connect. Hallelujah. At the count of three, I want you to shout that name, Jesus. Father, I pray that as they shout that name, every, every demonic force that has held anyone's marital destiny goodness i sense the power of god in the name that is above all names father i pray that as your people shout that name i tell you many of you the power of god will rush like fire on you in the name of jesus every wicked manifestation of spirit husband or wife any spirit entity that cleaves itself to anybody as you shout that name by the power of the holy ghost their activities end now one two three i cause those spirits in the name of jesus let god's people go in the name of jesus out of them now by the power of the Holy Ghost, inside and outside, I command those powers to let you go now. Release their marital destinies now. Release their marital destinies now. Every cause that stops marriage in families, in the name of the Lord Jesus, I arrest it. I arrest it by the power of the Holy Ghost. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Was he going to shout that name over this case? The Lord is not done yet. Lift your hands again. I want you to shout it at the top of your voice. And as you shout that name, the fire of the Holy Ghost will hit you like a tornado. God is visiting situations right now. Thank you, Jesus. One. Two. Get ready now. Get ready with your hands lifted. Three. Be released now. Be released now. Be released now. 
I command chains, chains, marital chains, be broken by the power of the Holy Ghost. I command chains, be broken in the name of Jesus. Be broken in the name of Jesus. Be broken. Let marital doors open in the name of Jesus. I prophesy over your marital destiny in the name that is above all names. The Bible says, Seek out of the book and read. It said, None of this shall fail, none shall want her mate. Ladies, wherever your husband is, in the name that is above all names, I call him into your life. I call him into your life. Listen. Not a man, your husband. Not a man, your husband. May he come into your life in the name of Jesus. And I prophesy over our brothers in the name that is above all names. That sister that God has destined for you, we release her into your life now. Now, now, hallelujah. Now, I'm going to pray for all sick people, especially those who have come from everywhere. While you come out, do you have your prayer request? Please, if you don't have it, it's time to begin to write it now. For all those who are sick, you are sick in your body, you came specifically for healing. It's your time now. Please come out. Please come out. Come out. Just come and stand here. Everyone sick. Everyone sick. Inside and outside. Just find your way and line up here. Ushers, just arrange them quickly. Stand here believing that God will set you free. He that comes unto God must come believing. I want you to expect the power of God to come mightily upon your life. Whatever the situation is. I'm going to lay hands on every one of you and as I lay that hands upon you hallelujah I want you to expect the power of God to flow into your life whatever the situation is hallelujah worship team lead us in a powerful moment of worship hallelujah Lord we give you the praise thank you for healing in the name of Jesus those of you who are sitting please write your prayer requests once you are done just begin to pray in tongues and then we'll do this very quickly My God is awesome. In the name of Jesus Christ. Heal now. Heal now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hide me from the rain. I cause everything that is not of God. My God. Out. My God is awesome. Heal now. When I'm broken. Pray for me. My Ow. God is he, he can move in the name of Jesus. Strength for you. I cause sickness. I want you to believe that God is setting you free. My God. Heal. In the name of Jesus. Okay, blah, 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 blah. Be healed, mommy. In the name of Jesus.
of her now. Protector. 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 Too hard 
Stand up. Please, I want you to believe. I want you to believe. Hallelujah. I want you to believe as I pray for you. I'm just flowing as the Holy Spirit leads me. There are people who came here tonight and your, true, your sincere desire is that God will visit you. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands. Promotion neither comes from the east nor the west in the name that is above all names. I pray May the Lord give you a miracle job in the name of Jesus. I speak it and I prophesy it. May my God give you a miracle job in the name of Jesus. As you are lifting up that hands, let an anointing come upon that hand. Keep it lifted, please. That hand that is lifted, I pray. Let an anointing come upon it. The oil of gladness that sets you above your equals. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Everywhere you have submitted your CV, I pray, may my God cause them to visit you in the name of Jesus. And every power that is stopping your job, in the name that is above all names, Sheketaka Baba. The four horns that lift up themselves against Judah, against Jerusalem, against Israel. I command right now, let those doors of jobs 
be opened supernaturally in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah please everybody stand submit your prayer request do we have it this is a very prophetic moment we have a few minutes but this is where everybody gets to receive please I want you to be very very sensitive if you've not submitted your prayer request please just do that quickly this this just dedicate yourself to these few moments because they are very very prophetic what we're about to do any more people please quickly we have a God that answers prayers here. Suta tata bala da 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 ba. Zeke te brege de bala de bos. Zige de brege de brege de bala da 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 ba. Shada ke de bala da mas. Hallelujah. This is the second time God is giving me this instruction. Usually we just pray on it, and once we are done here. But this is the second time the Lord is telling me that I should take this request with me and I should pray over them through the night. There is a God that answers prayers. And Hezekiah took the threat letter to God before the altar. He said, Lord, behold their threatenings. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now we are going to pray. hallelujah these requests represent impossible situations for some hallelujah situations that only the power of God can change there are some situations here if we have to read it even we the men of God will be discouraged because of the kind of request that's why we don't bother reading it we we'll just drop it to the one who created the heavens and the earth i want you to know that within these few minutes i want you to pray from the depths of your heart and those following us online now is the time for them to connect hallelujah because as we pray over these requests the power of god will turn these requests into testimonies in the name of the lord jesus we're going to pray pastor alpha come femi come benga come just pray lay hands on this and prophesy stretch your hands everybody towards this request and begin to pray begin to pray and prophesy hallelujah everybody stretch your hands and begin to declare and say lord whatever i wrote here is turned into a testimony lord in the name of jesus by the power of the holy spirit Change this situation. Change this situation. In the name of Jesus. We turn this to testimony. In the name of Jesus. Lord, under this corporate anointing, we release answers to this request. We release answers to this request. Let them receive emergency attention of heaven now. In the name of Jesus we release answers now 
in the name of Jesus. Thank you because with God nothing shall be impossible. And thank you for the release of the harvest of the seed. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. Please everybody stand. Those who are visiting with us, all those who are who came from outside Zaria, please come out. I'll minister to you now. I want you to come out expecting the Lord. There are so many people who have come from different places. Please just come out. I'll pray for them. And I'm going to pray for everyone for a release of fresh fire and fresh unction. Hallelujah. It's not enough to come and watch miracles. Hallelujah. But you are going to pray that you carry this anointing. Hallelujah. And you represent the kingdom. Thank you so much for those who came. Lizzie and her friends. Thank you so much all the way from Abuja. Thank you, Pastor Alpha. All the way from Kogi State. Eddie from Joss. Lonji from Abuja. I see a number of people. Hallelujah. Please, I want you to believe. I don't know what you came here for. But I really want you to believe by the power of the Holy Ghost. I want you to believe. I'm going to minister to you. Two things will happen to you. Whatever situation you came here trusting God for, I'm going to release my faith with you. And secondly, that you will carry an anointing. I tell you, something will come heavy upon your life. You will carry an anointing. You will carry an anointing. You will carry an anointing in the name of Jesus Christ. Just clash the cymbals. Please play strings. Strings, strings, strings. In the name of Jesus. Anoint them. In the name of Jesus. Be blessed. Take an anointing back. Be blessed. In the name of Jesus. Be healed, be blessed. Take this anointing back. Take this anointing in the name of Jesus. Walk in greater levels of power. Greater levels of power. In the name of Jesus. Break. Take an anointing in the name of Jesus Christ. Break through every closed door. I open it now by the power of the Holy Ghost. You do glorious things. Take this anointing with you in the name of Jesus to your locality. Do mighty things for the King. I release your marital destiny. This is what the Lord is ministering. I release your marital destiny in the name of Jesus Christ. Take this anointing. Oh, in the name of Jesus I open every closed door in the name of Jesus I open every closed door let the fragrance of the spirit be upon you in the name of Jesus Christ I command breakthrough I hear my spirit breakthrough I release breakthrough breakthrough by the power of the Holy Ghost I command breakthrough in the name of Jesus. I command breakthrough. 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 Financial breakthrough. God is bringing you financial breakthrough by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let the world grow in the name of Jesus. Let the world grow. Let the anointing come. Awesome is your name. 
Closed door that I see in the name of Jesus. I open this closed door that I see by the power of the Holy Ghost. Take this anointing that it makes you mighty. Supernatural breakthrough by the power of the Holy Ghost. I cause that spirit that limits you. I cause that spirit in the name of Jesus. Please, everybody, stand up. The time is against us. Please, everybody, rise. I want to do an impartation right now and then I'll just prophesy on our lives. Please lift your hands. Something will come upon your life. Hallelujah. This is where certain people will receive something. I want to impart the gifts of the Spirit. I already sense a strong atmosphere. Lift your hands in the name of the Lord Jesus. The healing anointing is going to come on many people now. Take it now. Take it now. Take it now. The healing anointing inside and outside. Take it now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Take it now. Take it now. Go and heal the sick. Go and heal the sick. You will lay hands on the sick and they will be healed. You will cast out devils. Shake it. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it. I pray. I command the prophetic. Let it be activated now. Prophetic fountains be open now. Visions dreams i command in the name of jesus receive it and unction you don't need to bring them out you don't need to bring them out we activate it take it now supernatural experiences dreams visions so potopate i command leadership mantles leadership mantles take it now take it now take it now strong leadership mantles receive it receive it receive it hallelujah stop la cambre de gelaba I'm about to pray the nine gifts of the spirit and many more listed in the Bible in the name of the Lord Jesus at the count of three different gifts will be activated in people right now one two three receive it word of knowledge word of wisdom prophecy tongues interpretation of tongues take it now I activate the full power of the spirit I activate it inside and outside. Take it. Let the Holy Ghost come upon you in power. Receive it. 
receive it gifts of healing word of knowledge gifts of prophecy it will come like fire it will come like fire it will burn you it will come like fire it's the fire of the holy ghost the fire of the holy ghost two of you hold your hand hold your hand take it now Take it now. Rapa bashata, kapa tata ba, rapa te, embreke te, reke kashopa, man prateketa. I activate the gifts of the spirit. Every apostolic ministry in this place, take the fire, take the fire, take the fire. Every apostolic ministry, take the fire. Every prophetic ministry. Take the fire, take the fire, take the fire. Hallelujah. There are many of you who are kingdom financiers, financial apostles. Everyone will be blessed, but there are specific people lift your hands my god i pray that these people let an unction my god my god my god my god take it financial dominion by the power help them help them help them take it ideas i activate it by the power of the holy ghost financial apostles arise arise take the kingdom now i want to prophesy very quickly please i want you to shout amen every closed door over your life in the name that is above all names be open now be open now be open now every closed door be open now 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 i pray right now every opportunity you have lost i don't care what it is i prophesy right now receive restoration receive restoration by the power of the holy ghost receive restoration now receive restoration now hallelujah every family under captivity and hardship in the name that is above all names i command those families to be free now be free now free from hardship free from hardship the bible says to appoint unto them that morning in zion i pray whatever made you cry this month in the name that is above all names i cause it to its root now 
I cause it to its root now. I cause it to its root now. I pray everyone who has the key to the next level of your life, every destiny helper, I don't care where they are right now, in the name of Jesus, like prophet Ezekiel, I call them Matebalaya. He said, I prophesied as I was commanded. Destiny help us arise, come forth. Destiny help us arise, come forth. Destiny help us arise, arise. Hallelujah. Wherever you have faced resistance in your life may this favor anointing in the name that is above all names as i prophesy right now let that favor anointing hit you like a tornado go back to where they rejected you and watch my god make a way for you i command favor i command favor in the name of jesus whatever has been speaking against your life and your destiny let the blood speak for you now let the blood speak for you now any terminal disease here any terminal disease here we terminate it once and for all in the name of Jesus every dying destiny every dying destiny like the bones in the book of ezekiel share ye the word of the lord whatever you have that is dying whether it's your business whether it's your family whether it's your relationship whether it's your marriage i come with a prophetic voice share ye the word of the lord come alive now come alive now come alive now come alive now I prophesy that by the next miracle service you will return with a change of garment that everyone that sees you will know that my God has visited you every ministry every fellowship every group every church every assembly represented here I pray let an unusual unction rest upon your ministry everything you see happening here go and reproduce it in the name of jesus i release upon you that power in the name that is above all names whatever has stopped your church from growing whatever has stopped your ministry from growing i command ministry grow church grow in the name of jesus hallelujah Lord, we give you the praise. I'm going to make an altar call right now. If you're here and you've never given your heart to the Lord Jesus, please listen. This is a very serious moment. We're out of time. You've never made Jesus Lord of your life. Inside and outside, you probably were invited. You may have been a Christian, but you've never truly declared the Lordship of Christ. I'm going to invite you to come here. Or you've been born again and you found yourself derailing this is the greatest miracle please everybody rise just one minute just to encourage those who are coming out please let's rise right now you belong to that category you are saying lord i return to you i don't care whether you've been born again before please i want you to leave your seat and come out right now leave your seat and come out right now you want to make a decision you are making a decision for the lord jesus for the first time please listen or you've given your heart to the Lord but you found yourself backsliding don't wait for anybody you are the first person please appreciate them I believe there are people God bless you God bless you thank you thank you thank you they are coming koinonia celebrate them inside and outside thank you for the courage we salute your courage God bless you God bless you keep coming keep coming it's a new day it's a new season you are saying goodbye to yesterday 
and God gives you the gift of tomorrow to remedy for the mistakes of yesterday thank you Jesus for these ones keep coming keep coming God bless you no matter how far keep coming don't be afraid don't be ashamed of anybody it's a personal affair tonight thank you Jesus hallelujah I salute your courage for those of you who took out the time to come lift your right hands and from the depths of your heart you're not reciting a poem I want you to say after me Lord Jesus I love you and I believe in you I believe you died for me I believe you shed your blood to set me free I receive that freedom tonight and I receive eternal life into my spirit in the name of Jesus from today I declare that I'm born again I'm a child of God Holy Spirit come and live in me I make up my mind to live for Jesus all the days of my life forward ever and backward never in the name of Jesus Christ thank you so much for making that decision let me pray for you father preserve these ones you brought them out by your power preserve them in the name of the Lord Jesus may your Christian experience be authentic in the name of the Lord Jesus thank you so much for making this decision where are they following okay you have a gentleman just lead you that gentleman waving his hands please just follow them they'll have your details and you'll be back to your seat celebrate Jesus hallelujah please all those worshiping with us for the first time if this is your first time attending any of our meetings we love you we celebrate you please rise up on your feet and just come out here koinonia celebrate them all who have come from far and near this is your first time you are very very welcome celebrate them appreciate them thank you for coming thank you for coming thank you for coming thank you for coming we celebrate you we honor you no matter how far come there is a blessing for you there is a prayer for you the lord brought you here to bless you thank you so much koinonia is this the best you can do lord jesus we thank you for bringing these ones hallelujah hallelujah thank you so much for coming all of you who took out the time to come we really celebrate you we appreciate you hallelujah this is koinonia ministry put together a program put together by eternity network international thank you so much for coming we are here every friday not this exact venue but every friday as god grants you the grace it will always be a blessing having you around praise the lord we have a blessing in the house and this is the gift we release to everyone who comes and i want the saints of god to stretch their hands and just bless you i want you to receive it please bless them professor you have a blessing upon your lips i want you to speak it we bless you let the hand of god be strong upon your life in the name of jesus we bless you with hunger for the things of the spirit we bless you with passion for god in the name of jesus we bless you with advancement we bless you with favor we bless you with speed in the name of jesus may you experience the power of god strong in your life we bless your finances let the heavens be open over your life in the name of jesus thank you again for coming we love you and we celebrate you now we just like you to follow the ushers that gentleman waving his hands and they welcome you more warmly on our behalf Koinonia, celebrate them very quickly. dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message i want you to keep doing something for this man of god our man of god apostle joshua salmon and that is i want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of jesus christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of christianity and then don't forget to like this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing jesus i'll see you again bye